The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Pulse School series. I'm Kara Oosterhaus. In this episode, I talked to Nevin Rosasen, who is the Policy and Program Specialist with Alberta Pulse Growers. Nevin and I talk in a hot southern Alberta lentil field about staging your lentil crops and some of the considerations you may want to keep in mind before possibly heading into that field to spray. Sure. So this is the time of year, especially here in southern Alberta, where we've uh, seen a real lack of rainfall, where uh, crops are starting to mature. Lentil crops, uh, as we can see in this beautiful field behind us, are getting to that stage where producers are deciding whether it's time to desiccate or to use a pre-harvest herbicide for weed control. Uh, and uh, so what we're going to cover today is a little bit of staging and looking at the crops and uh, trying to, I guess, establish what is the, the right time to spray. So first off, when you're looking at staging, what part of the plant are you actually looking at? Because lentils, if I'm correct, actually mature from bottom up. That's correct. Lentils do have an indeterminate growth, especially in the green varieties. Reds do have a little bit more determinancy, but with uh, green lentils and indeterminate crops, they do mature from the bottom up. And that's where you're generally going to be looking when you enter the field. Of course, you're going to be assessing on color, but you do want to definitely check those bottom pods. Something that is very unique with lentils is that uh, when they do ripen and mature uh, within the seed within the pod the seeds will start to rattle so you can really hear it when you get down and you start shaking uh, those lentil plants is there any other ways you can check such as pushing on the seed itself you can generally test the the strength etc of the seed but uh, although that technique is used in cereals with uh, the dinting with your thumbnail that's not the correct way to assess within that plant you're going to have some green uh, seeds that are a little more immature uh, when you get towards the top and at the bottom those will be uh, definitely hard so we definitely do recommend looking at visual guides at this stage uh, we work closely with the registrants to make sure that that information is available to producers so if producers are walking through their fields and they're seeing some green patches does that mean they can't consider spraying a dust or pre-harvest so definitely the recommendation is at 30 percent moisture levels and you need to ensure that you are spraying below that we often recommend to producers that if in, if in doubt to wait or to avoid the really green patches that might be in bottom depressions and sloughs, if at all they can uh, spray around them, come back a few weeks later and clean up fields. It is a bit of a hassle, but it is important to be prudent in ensuring that we're doing everything in our best, uh, you know, to the best of our abilities to ensure that uh, we're not losing yield, quality of the crop, uh, as well as, of course, uh, to ensure that we don't have any residue levels. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Just if you do have questions about the maturity of your lentil crop, be sure to reach out to other producers in your area, or of course, pick up the phone and call either uh, Alberta Pulse Growers or your provincial uh, Pulse Commission, whether it's Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, Manitoba Pulse and Soy, and we'd be happy to give you a second opinion.